from him. So the allegation put to me was that we discussed with... I'm still not denying it. I've just I, asked I, you to I, deny I, I it again. But you have... I'm putting an allegation to you, as it were, which derives me, from these Gary, other allegations. Gary, me, I will let... At any point, Gary... Discuss with a third party... Alex, I'll take your question no, if you want to ask one. You've, you've now been asked the same question twice. The question Alex. is, why would you meet with a Russian oligarch given the situation that you're now in today? The fact that people are claiming that you have solicited a donation, which you're now denying. Well, I was invited onto Mr Derek Pasca's boat on two occasions by a mutual friend. The first occasion I was with Peter Manderson. The second occasion I was with Andrew Feldman. Both occasions we went for a drink. On both occasions it lasted about an hour. On both occasions we neither asked for money, we didn't solicit a donation, and we uh, didn't receive any money subsequently. But why would you meet with somebody Just like that? Well, I, I appreciate it. Just to clarify then, did you discuss it with other people, with third parties, the possibility of a donation from this Russian billionaire. You say you didn't discuss it with him. Political parties are offered donations, sometimes by intermediaries, all the time. I'm not going to go into a detailed running commentary of all the offers that are made to us. What the public are entitled to know is whether we accept donations and whether we explain to people exactly how to make a legal donation. In this case, uh, as I say, we neither asked for any money, and that is the central allegation, we neither solicited a donation nor did we receive any money. And very specifically, uh, the channelling uh, allegation. Well, David, you're no, 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 I'm going to take two more questions. Uh, I just, have you been involved in any attempts to get this story out and to smear Peter Mandelson? And what do you think uh, Matt Rothschild's motivation is in writing this letter to the Times? Well, I can only speak for you know, my meetings with Mr Deripaska, uh, and uh, that's what I'm doing to you today. Later today, I will publish a clear chronology of all the times, and there aren't many, that I met Mr Deripaska in Corfu. Uh, I will publish exactly when I met him, for how long I met him, uh, and, uh, by the way, I invite Peter Mandelson to do exactly the same. But you're not denying smearing him? I, I don't think the question arises. Do, do, do you regret... Um, crossing Peter Mandelson and leaking alleged, allegedly details of his private thoughts about Gordon Brown? Well, I certainly regret all the fuss and misunderstanding that has come around this trip to Corfu. But let me make it absolutely clear, because the important thing is the allegation. And the allegation is that I solicited a donation. Well, Andrew Feldman solicited a donation for Mr. Deripaska. We did not. Uh, we neither asked for any money, nor did we receive any. In the journalist profession, they say, follow the money. Well, in this case, there is no money to follow. Thank the you very much. The, the, the question is your judgment, Mr Osborne, isn't it? The question is your judgment in this. So, George Osborne heading...